every customer that we talk to, they have a severe problem with the cost of purchasing and operating traditional networks. They look with great envy to how the over-the-top providers are producing services across the internet and they want to understand how they do it. Our customers used to build uh, their central office with a few core routers, with a few access routers and uh, uh, produce services, uh, one for each, one access route for each service basically. I saw what uh, all the cool kids in the cloud world have been doing, right? Uh, they were uh, doing daily releases into production networks and they really have mastered uh, the art uh, of the software release process with embedded testing and uh, they're assured that uh, whenever they release the code, uh, it will not break things. I wanted to have all those tools in my domain of expertise, which is routing protocols and system design and signal protocols. We have not uh, just recreated yet another routing and signaling stack and uh, producing um, the uh, yet another version of uh, a solved problem. We treat uh, the central office um, just like uh, a substrate over which we dynamically can program services. What we wanted to do is creating an open platform. An open platform where you can run our own software, third-party software, where all the state that the network carries is visible through our brick data store in-memory database. This idea of having open data accessible to everybody, in our opinion, will focus on open ecosystems where other can integrate to with ease. With our technology, uh, we can actually shrink down that uh, productization of new services onto the network to an order of few weeks. Uh, uh, if you look at it from a top-down perspective, uh, looks a lot more like uh, the Web 2.0 companies go uh, about their business than traditional telco style. Right now, um, the traction that we are seeing is uh, tremendous, including the largest telecommunication companies in the world.